morning, everybody. I wanted to start this morning's show out with this news article. A story that should be front page news. This should be mainstream media, media. But curiously, Google has hidden the facts surrounding these mass layoffs. Furloughs, pay cuts for medical workers. This is Business Insider. Pay cuts, furloughs, and layoffs for doctors, nurses, and healthcare workers are mounting as a CV hits hospitals. And there you see it in black and white. The ones that the mainstream media is trying to tell us are overworked, that there's not enough of them to go around, that they need more help, and that they're overrun by the CV. Shouldn't all these people be employed right now? Shouldn't they be like the top paid people on the planet right now if what the mainstream media is telling us is true? I mean, hands down, they should be the first people taken care of with this stimulus package, right? But instead, the truth emerges that many of these people were sent home. Laid off. weren't Just simply weren't needed. Not because they were sick, but because they weren't needed. I mean, after all, we've spent billions on ventilators, masks, and trillions in paychecks to every other working person in America. So this is not jiving with what mainstream media is telling us is happening. I wanted to open the show with this because this is very, very important. You have to look not just at what is being said, but what is being done. And they can shake this up any way they want, but the fact of the matter is is much of these the staff at these hospitals were sent home. They were sent home. Okay, on to the rest of the show. Let me make sure we're connected before we continue on with this. This show is going to be crazy because I found... Well, actually, someone sent in this information. I can't remember who. I apologize. I never... Um, can remember the people that sent in information because it comes in daily sometimes hourly and i use that information to put together my show so sources from the shows come from many many sources on the daily you guys email me or put in the comments section and i just pick it up and i just go for it so apologies that i don't name every source of where i get things from but it's from all of you guys so we talk every day on this channel about ritual pre-programming How they like to flaunt the future in front of our faces. And that somehow that that gives them immunity to do what they're about to do. Well, this is the rapper called Future. And when he was 33 years old, he wore a mask at the 2017, which is Q, 17 is Q, the BET Awards. And guess what day that that awards ceremony happened. We should call it an awards ritual based on what I'm about to show you. It happened 88 days after the 88th day of the year, which we know is the date of June 25th. I believe that's the day MJ died as well. It's also the day that iPet Goat 2 came out in 2012. June 25th is a very occult ritual date. March 29th is the 88th day of the year, and June 25th is 88 days after that. So this is future, and I believe that they used this rapper to show us the future. As he sings this song that I'm about to show you. Now here is the BET Awards, which just occurred June 25th. There it is right there, 88 days after the 8th day, 2017. That would be Q. And... You see how... Let's let's click on this here. This is crazy. So look at the logo that they chose for this. I don't know if this changes every year. But here you have the five-pointed star and the seven. That's the five-seven. And you've got the D that almost looks like a 5G Wiz signal radiating out. Does it not? So you got the five-seven, which is 5G Wiz. And you've got the radiating signal... And then you've got, of course, here's more radiating signals here from this pyramid. And the word W-A-R, which we're not even allowed to see on YouTube anymore, gets flagged. 
And so that's where we're at right now. This was three years ago. Now let's keep going with this because there's more to this. <laughs> if you were like in doubt going, you're just reading stuff into stuff. Well, if I'm reading stuff into stuff, why did Beyonce get the most awards, five, and the most nominations, seven? That's five, seven. Five G whiz. G, just so you know, is alphanumerically the seventh letter of the alphabet. That's why we could say that that's G. So they were telling us something. This is all coded. The 57 is the 5G whiz. 57, 57. Now, what else do we have? Well, the song Mask Off was sung by Future. Let me look in here and find that. Find Mask Off. Here it is. We're going to look at this song because as you could see in the thumbnail of this video, he wore a mask and then he took it off. But the song talks about mask on, mask off. So it's like a little play on words like, oh, we're to take it off, put it on, right? This was all pre-programming. So Future and Kendrick Lamar performed this mask off song and this song actually let's pull it up here released on april 18th another five seven because why because april 18th was the 257th day of the year here it is right here five seven now here's the song you performed at the bet awards and what you're going to see here i'm not going to play the whole thing of course is the illuminated ones and their masks coming off and them being revealed which is pretty much what's happening right now they've done the pre-programming that they've had to do to where so many people are asleep that now they can take their masks off this is crazy so this is uh let's pause this this is it let me blow this up so you guys can see this a little bit better And in the lyrics, he talks about 33 chains. Those are our chains that bind us. Notice this number 33 keeps emerging, right? Previous shows, we talked about this. So here it is. Of course, you got all your Illuminati imagery. And in the lyrics they talk about the mask being on and the mask being off let me show you that mask on see mask on mask on max off see this so that means all of us put our masks on and they all take their masks off you get it now unbelievable Watch this. I'm going to play a few seconds at a time. Okay. You see this you see this woman here with the flute on the side. There they all are in their Illuminati robes. Okay? With their hoods closed. He's got his mask on, right? Remember, his name is the future because this is our future. Oh, Case, okay, so you're just making stuff up. Wait till you see what you see next. The mask comes off. All of their masks come off. When he takes his max mask off, they take all their masks off, or their hoods anyway. And then it starts rolling. Now, here's where things come off the rail because Kendrick Lamar appears remember he's 33 years old right here future is kendrick lamar appears and this is what breaks my heart about my brothers and sisters all dancing to the groove of being used by the elite using our talent 
for their evil. Here is Kendrick Lamar. And what do you know? He comes down the stairs. And they get inside of the crown of the sun. Right there. This was 2017. And what they're showing here is an eclipse with the crown of the sun. Which is C-O-R-O-N-A. Look at this. You can see the fire coming off of it. And there they are dancing in the magic circle. Ushering in ritually what they knew was going to happen. And they might not have known it. But the elite did. Which is why they had them do this performance. A solar Kuru Rona. 2017 Q. This is what we call pre-programming. Now, to complete the circle, because this is what they have to do, they do a beginning and an ending. Kendrick Lamar, the guy you see here, he'll be 33 years old, three days after Trump's birthday. He will be 33 years old, three days after Trump's birthday. So, Future was 33 three years ago. Kendrick Lamar will be 33 three days after Trump's birthday. You can't make that up completing the circle of the ritual. This is what these people like to do. Are you starting to understand what's going on in this reality? So, that's what I wanted to show you guys today. Uh, this is going to be a pretty short show. Here's a snapshot of this. I'll put this in the, uh, the pinned comment. If you want to share this, showing the sun's Kuru Rona and this ritual that they put on. Here's them dancing inside of it. Snapshot of that. If you guys want to check that out. And tomorrow we're going to be talking about a peculiar smiley face. That is a cancer cell that Bill Gates himself funded research on dealing with autoimmune response. The cancer cell looks like a smiley face confirming everything that we've been talking about. We're going to get into that tomorrow and show you why the smiley face means Spamdemic and control and evil. It's an omen. Let me go back in the chat and see what's going on with you guys. Uh, Sherry, it just is because anytime you talk about that, it's a quote unquote controversial subject. Yeah, Bridget, you're right. 2017 showed us a lot of controversial stuff. I might, I might need to go back and look at 2017, the films, commercials, everything that happened because it's basically what we're experiencing now. Thanks, Gary, for modding. All right. Oh, Trump was born on the full eclipse. So there you go. More Apollyon, a bad dawn metaphor and connection within his life. There are many, many more. The number 66, which of course is twice 33. All right. I mean, Baton Rouge says able bodied New Orleans. Monday, I was the only patient there in the ER. I was the only patient there. Nurses forced 
him or her into a mask. Wow. And, you know, like I've told you guys in the past, people are motivated by money. They've created this system, this Ponzi scheme system, where they control the money. The elite control the money, right? And you're forced into the system. There is no more bartering. There is no independence. I mean, you can, but you're never going to barter enough to pay your rent, for instance. And so if you're in the system, in terms of like renting and having to buy their food and car insurance and all the other things that they force us in, into, then you're forced into this economic system that is based on money. So therefore, they've created a commodity that you need to live your life and survive. Now, that's a, that seems okay if the system was fair, if the system wasn't rigged, if the system was based off of real goods and services. But instead, we all have sold out to a certain degree just by being in this monetary system. We just have. We have to come to terms with that. That we are working for other people that don't have our best interests at heart. They don't stand up for us in times of need. Who can fire us and hire us at will. At will employment. And they simply don't care. And so as a commodity, we need money. And so we're trapped in the system. So what does money motivate people to do? Well, when you look around you and you see a lot of people getting laid off over and over again, unemployed. My mother and I had this, this debate often over the years she was a california state worker who retired in like 20 or 25 years and she's doing pretty well for herself in retirement and all through the years when i was working in pharmaceutical sales she kept trying to get me to go work for the state instead and i tried a couple times i applied of course they want you to come in at ground level making 15 bucks an hour or something and I just never, never caught on. And as I kept getting laid off, she goes, you know, that doesn't happen to you if you work for the state or the city and try to convince me to go and work in there. Well, that's part of it. It's what happens is when you work for the government and you're, you're even more deeply ingrained in their monetary system and they'll reward you for that by not laying you off and giving you a healthy retirement and medical benefits, but then you're working even more closely with their agenda that's enslaving everyone and slowly tightening the screws and so when the government says something and you work for the government you're going to fall in line with what they're telling you because you're invested in it right that's what this is all about and medical staff and w which are some of the highest paid people believe it or not many nurses actually make more money than doctors because they don't carry the risk they don't carry malpractice risk. And I know this because I worked in the industry. The doctors carry that. They have to put, uh, pay malpractice insurance, which can be a lot of money because they're always getting sued. The nurses show up and they make their 50 bucks an hour, 60 bucks, sometimes double time. They'll work a 12-hour shift, make a bunch of money in one shift. A lot of worse is, nurses you probably don't even know will work for three or four days a week. And can make a healthy income with that. And so, you know, this is why we can't find people to speak out. Because they look around them, they see everyone getting laid off. And who in their right mind would put their uh, medical license at risk? I had one nurse contact me. This is a couple weeks ago. Said they had just pulled her license. I asked her if she wanted to come on the show. But, you know, and that's fine. But it's just very sad. They fired her over the phone, over teleconference. Pulled her license for no other reason than the, in social media she was talking about this stuff. So really, there are very few people who are willing to put it all on the line. And that's the problem we have now. To actually just tell the truth about what's happening. We're not talking conspiracy theorists. We're not talking... You know, just tell the truth about what you're seeing. And that's not allowed right now. Same goes with law enforcement. The simple fact of the matter is, is that law enforcement, they're like the second highest paid. 
those guys, many of them make well into the six figures after being on the force for five years. And they get all kinds of little perks, double time, overtime, time and a half. And the money racks up. And next thing you know, they've got their retirement all buttoned up. The last thing they're going to do is not obey orders from their commander or their sergeant. They're just not. They're going to justify in their mind the action the sergeant's telling them. They're going to believe the lie. And then many of them, once they wake up to the lie, they just do themselves because they can't even come to terms with what they've done to other people. So this is where everything sits. So when you think that law enforcement is going to stand up and do the right thing, chances are they probably won't. Many of them will just quit if they see stuff like this happening. And oftentimes, it'll be to the point where unless it happens to them personally, they really won't care. You're just a person. Us against them. Same with medical staff. They're just not going to do the right thing. So, where does that leave things? Peaceful non-compliance. That's where I'm at. I won't go into a hospital ever again. They're going to make me wear a mask and take my temperature. I just won't. And if enough people do that, then we can get somewhere. But sadly, most people are deceived. And that's just where we're at. So, so let me go back in the chat here. Able Body has photos of empty... Uh, okay, that's cool. Oh, let me show her email address here because YouTube just hit it. So you guys, when I open up, a lot of people don't like it when I open up this uh, this studio screen. But you get to see what I'm seeing instead of what YouTube is allowing you to see. You're in, you're in the inner workings of the live show. And so you just saw that they tried to hide her email address. And I allowed it. So we can continue communicating with one another. Now I've removed pretty much most of the restrictions from the live chat that would put anything or stop anything from being put into the chat. I've even allowed links, but for some reason they unallowed her link. So there you go. Catilla says you should decode the movie Dr. Sleep sequel to the show. I think we did that already on the other channel. I'll have to go take a look. Uh, yeah, on Inner Stars Reloaded we decoded Dr. Sleep. Very cryptic. Yeah, the essence. Exactly. Now, many of you have noted that when you type in the word AD Chrome, we'll call it, uh, you can't find any videos really up there anymore. And that's because YouTube's taking a hard line on that. The way it works on this channel, I'll do a video. It'll be up for at least two, three, four weeks. And if I feel like YouTube's going to come at me, like for instance, if they confirm demonetization on the the video, I'll need to take that video down because as those stack up, YouTube can pull your entire channel. So the, the, the secret is, the trick is, just watch the videos when they come up and then you won't miss anything. Now, I, it's rare that I'll put up a video and then take it down the same day. I just won't do that. But it'll be up for a couple weeks. Some of you had complained that some of the body code videos came down off the other channel and this channel. Well, they're all somewhere. And basically, you just got to watch them. And if the video is that important to you, you got to save it. We can't rely on YouTube to maintain the database of videos. They pick videos off one by one here and there. Is what they love to do. So um, that's where we're at with that. I know most of you are on phones. So you can't save those videos. Um... And if I get enough requests, I'll redo a video. Uh, I think I've gotten a little bit better at research, so the video will probably be better than the first time I did it. So we can redo videos that you feel like got taken away from you. So, but, yeah, so that's basically it. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll talk about the smiley face. Take care and be safe, everybody.